is up, friends? I'm here to talk about this crazy guitar today. Uh, a lot of people at shows and uh, people on Instagram have been kind of asking about this guitar and what's going on. Uh, this is a really cool guitar. I'm going to take the tuner off so you get the full glory of the headstock. This is a DeMont Goldfinch by DeMont Guitars. They're out of Oswego, Illinois. Is that how you say that? Oswego? Uh, this guitar retails at, I think, $1,000 on their website. So, super cool. I ended up snagging one uh, off of Craigslist, which is super lucky because I'm in North Carolina. So, how this guitar got here, I'm not really sure. But since I've got it, I've posted some videos of it and really enjoyed it. And the company's super cool. They've reached out to me a couple of times, uh, just talking to me about the guitar. They sent me a cool t-shirt and some stickers so I could kind of rep them out a little bit. Uh, and they even share a couple of my videos every once in a while. So super cool company right here in the U.S., super nice people, and they make a sick guitar. So in no order of importance or significance or favoritism, I'm going to name five things that I just love about this guitar. Uh, not going to give any criticisms tonight because this is a sweet guitar. And I want you guys to know how cool it is. And yeah, it's something to appreciate. It's wacky. It's zany. Uh, it's always cool when it makes it out into a set, into a Nerdy Blues set. So yeah, this is my DeMont Goldfinch. So, first of all, this guitar is beautiful, obviously, super unique design, and just such a high level of craftsmanship. DeMont Guitars does all their cutting, milling, and processing of the lumber right in-house, which is super cool. They've got a silver poplar body on this guy, which I just think is beautiful. They also have their own neck design that they call the Verb Neck. It's made of quarter sawn figured cherry with a figured walnut fretboard and with maple thumbnail inlays, which are just beautiful. The whole guitar is beautiful. Everything, setup of the electronics. I love the Goldfinch pickguard. Uh, it's just a beautiful guitar, really cool aesthetic. Matches my acoustic really well, which makes me happy. Just a beautiful guitar. Can't not fall in love with how beautiful this guitar is. So obviously, uh, the responsiveness of this guitar is just sick. It's awesome. Uh, and that's definitely one of my favorite things about it, especially fingers, uh, the finger playing. You can just really get some awesome dynamic response. Uh, in a lot of my live playing, I do really kind of quiet stuff. Uh, it Sometimes it's a weakness of mine and sometimes it's a strength, but... Uh, I like having that option to just get like really, really just. And like, I mean, that's a lot of dynamic and a lot of change for not even touching the volume knob. So that's super cool. It's really nice. Also, you kind of have that cool spanky, piney, uh, acoustic kind of response with the finger picking. So it's almost, I don't know. It's just a really good responsive guitar especially when it comes to spanking those those fingers on the strings it's really nice so yeah obviously you've got gold foil pickups super vintage sound 
obviously some slide is going to sound great. Uh, a lot of people, when they buy those old made in Japan guitars, like the Tyscos and stuff like that, they're looking for these gold foil pickups. Uh, and they typically are using those kind of stuff for like that bluesy, like Rikuda sounding. Because it's just got this really like crunchy, like AM radio sort of just old gritty distorted sound that sings with the slide somehow uh for this guitar i like using the porcelain slide little porcelain slide uh just because it kind of takes away the tinniness obviously this guitar has a lot of treble uh i am just past the middle position so i'm blending mostly towards the neck pickup but uh you know like 60 40 uh, that's a cool thing about this guitar. A little side note, uh, blend knob with the pickup selector. So you can really just get a full range of tones, which is good for the slide because you can really dial it in because every uh, slide is different. And in some cases, uh, like I play slide in standard. So like some of the overtones and stuff uh, for different keys, you can kind of dial that out with your pickup selector and with the uh, obviously the tone knob as well. special feature of this guitar is because of the body shape uh, you can really get under it and do some crazy stuff on the strings uh, past the neck so yeah so like for instance if I'm in A can we get in here you can get that crazy chirpy octave up there so once you kind of get the muscle memory that's really crazy that's like a whole new territory for your slide so obviously you're not gonna spend a whole lot of time there but it's really cool and it's got this chirpy sound like a chirpy bird type guitar like a gold finch yes slide tone so one thing that I really dig about this guitar is the, uh, I guess with uh, lack of a better way to say it, the spank of the guitar. It's really got that like that cutting sound. It just cuts right through the mix. Uh, really good for like old soul and Motown, just kind of. Just got a, yeah, a really nice spanky tone. Which goes along with the responsiveness. Uh, but you can really get some treble. Like, this is the uh, full-on bridge, full-on tone. So last but not least, uh, a thing that I like about this guitar that's kind of unique to my set and uh, what I'm doing is it really responds to the Ottawa well. And I, I like the Ottawa in my world, uh, particularly like a, um, not an automatic, but like a touch sensitive type wa. Uh, and this definitely does that super well. <laughs> It's cool. And even kind of with the tone of this guitar, it almost kind of lends to that open, wild, like everything's kind of sucked out of it. It's got this like vacuumy sound. <laughs> But when you dig, you get that grit and that, that spank and that pushing of the 
the pickup and the pushing of the wah. It's really cool. It's almost like a fuzzy breakup in there, which almost gives it kind of this bit crusher effect, which is sweet. Can't do that on any of my other guitars, and I really like the tone. <laughs> So yeah, I really love the way that it's responding to the wah. Love the way that it's responding to the wah. Thank you all so much for watching my video about this awesome DeMont Guitars guitar, the Goldfinch. Uh, I really appreciate it. I really do love this guitar. And they're a super cool company out of Illinois. You should really look them up and check them out. They've also got a cool online store where they sell some really neat gear. Uh, and they're just doing all kinds of cool things over at DeMont Guitars. They've got some other models of the Goldfinch for sale. It's a cool thing. They've really got it going on over there. And I really appreciate their kindness and your kindness. Uh, please, if you don't mind, give me that like. Give me that subscribe. Check out uh, my Instagram. Also, check out DeMont Guitars on Instagram. Uh, do all the social media stuff. And please stay safe out there. And happy quarantine to you all in this crazy time. Uh, I hope you're doing well. And I hope things are good and get better. I love you all. Thank you so much. 